West Mountain Radio presents DC Power, the West Mountain Radio way. This video in our UPS series will show you how to set up a UPS using West Mountain Radio products. To create our UPS, we're going to use these products. The Super PowerGate PG40S, PowerCheck, PowerGuard Plus, and the RigRunner 4008. Let's look at the Super Power Gate PG40S, which is the heart of the UPS. This unit combines diode isolation with a sophisticated battery charger. It also automatically switches from power supply to battery when AC power is lost. When AC power is available, the PG40S will charge the battery using your shack's power supply as the source. The battery charger is a four-stage smart charger that will automatically sense the condition of the battery and apply the relevant charge. When fully charged, the battery will be kept on float, preventing overcharging. When installing your equipment, it is important to configure the PG40S for the correct type of battery. To do this, remove the front cover, and you'll notice the jumper in the lower right corner of the printed circuit board. For gel cell batteries, the jumper must be removed. For AGM batteries, the jumper must be placed over both terminals as shown. The two fuses you see on the PG40S are used as jumpers to select a maximum charging rate based on the battery's capacity. For 10 amps, you will need both fuses installed, suitable for batteries of 75AH and up. If you are using a smaller capacity battery, then consult the manual to choose an appropriate charging rate. The choices are 1 amp, 4 amps, 7 amps and 10 amps. We recommend using a power supply that is capable of putting out a slightly higher voltage than 13.8 volts DC. Because during the absorption phase, a higher voltage is required to properly charge a sealed lead acid battery. For AGM batteries, 14.5 volts is enough. For gel cell batteries, 14.2 volts is ideal. If your power supply has no external adjustment, then there is probably an internal trim pot to set the terminal voltage. The Rig Runner 4008 is a DC distribution panel with eight ATC fused outlets using the Aries Racy's Anderson power pole connectors. It also includes a voltage range indicator with alarm on over voltage and under voltage conditions. Choosing the correct size fuse is important for equipment protection. The 4008 has an input fuse which should be big enough to take the full expected load with some spare capacity. Usually, this will be a 40 amp fuse. We recommend using the first outlet for your highest current device, often an HF radio. Most 100 watt radios draw around 20 to 22 amps on transmit. A good fuse value to use in this outlet is 25 amps. Other outlets can be used for many 12 volt DC equipment such as a VHF radio, radio modem, and emergency lighting. Just choose a fuse which is appropriate for the load you are connecting for maximum protection. The power check allows us to monitor our battery while in charge and discharge cycles. It also has an AH gauge, which provides an indication of how much capacity is remaining when AC power is lost. We recommend calibrating the power check with your battery to provide an indication of how much capacity is left during use. To calibrate, simply connect the power check to your computer using the included USB cable. And then using the provided power check software, you may specify your battery capacity in the settings menu. On the power check, switch to the AH gauge and you'll notice the capacity bar graph reduce when powering your equipment from the battery. The PowerGuard Plus is a combination of HVD, high voltage disconnect, and LVD, low voltage disconnect. It is designed to protect your radio from high voltages should your power supply lose regulation. It also protects the battery and radio from too deep a discharge. The PowerGuard Plus has two modes of operation, manual and automatic. In the manual mode, after a high or low voltage condition, the user must manually press the reset button to resume. In the automatic mode, the unit will recover when voltage returns at a normal level. 
We recommend using the automatic mode when used as part of your UPS. A remote sensor can also be connected to the PowerGuard Plus to shut power off for other reasons. To test the PowerGuard Plus, we have substituted a battery which is nearly exhausted. Its terminal voltage is getting very close to 11.5 volts as you can see on the power check. When voltage drops below 11.5 as indicated on the power check, the rig runner LEDs go out and the radio will switch off. The low voltage disconnect function of the PowerGuard Plus has prevented the battery from discharging any further. As AC power is reapplied by our power supply, the PowerGuard Plus has automatically recovered and the radio has switched back on. Also notice that the PG40S indicates battery charging is now taking place from the red LED. To connect the West Mountain Radio product for your Shax UPS, we recommend following these easy steps. First, connect your radio to the Rig Runner 4008. Next, connect the 4008 to the PowerGuard Plus. Then connect the PowerGuard Plus to the PG40S. Next, connect the PG40S to the power check. At this point, connect the power check to your battery. Now we can connect the PG40S to your power supply. Turn your power supply on, turn your radio on, and have peace of mind with this UPS system. Let's look at the UPS in operation. When AC power is available, the radio is being powered by the power supply. The battery is also being charged simultaneously. The power check will display battery charging voltage and current and indicate the direction of current flow. When AC power is lost, the PG40S instantly switches the source from power supply to battery and the radio continues to function without interruption. The power check will now indicate a reverse direction of current flow and display battery voltage and current used by the load. From sound card interfaces to DC power to battery analyzers and clear speech DSP noise reducers, West Mountain Radio has a solution for your amateur radio needs.